Tomorrow, I will bring some books that I brought from Myanmar. I cannot carry many books, just a few books. So tomorrow, I will bring three booklets, actually. But they, they are quite many, quite good to read and very beneficial. So one is the art of living nobly and happily. The other is the Buddha's way of meditation, not the right way of meditation. And the, the three one, the third one is the Anatta doctrine, the not self doctrine. So a not not self doctrine is known only in Buddhism. It is not known on the outside Buddhism. So it is very important. If, if, you know, if we can develop you know, and can get rid of that personality belief, we say, thinking that I, I exist, then you, know, you can become a noble person. <laughs> very important. So I bring 30 copies each. So you can take shoots one one, not only one. <laughs> no. So because there will be about 90 percent. <laughs> okay. <coughs> So then we continued not with the <coughs> so this <coughs> in not the in moral mental factors. So it is good to know them. No? But they are arising in us, but we don't know <laughs> that they are in moral mental factors. So when you know them, then you can you can not the prevent them not to arise in the mind. So now we <coughs> we finish the Aitsa and Machriya. Machra, machriya is avarice or stinginess. It has the characteristic of concealing one's property. So I think I can see better with, without the uh, without the glass. <laughs> so it does not appreciate to share one's property or special privilege with other persons. It takes the form of stinginess when one is reluctant to give money to charity. As mentioned in Anguttara Nikaya, there are five kinds of machriya no, with respect to dwelling place. So no, if the, the, the guests come into your, to your house, and stay with uh, don't stay in your house, so you don't like no, to, uh, him to stay very long. <laughs> and then, no, also no, we we are uh, uh, about the families, no, so the family we want to be united, no, happy ab among ourselves. And then the uh, don't, if you get a very good pay or good no good good income, so you don't you don't want others no to to get. The, the, the income like you, and then recognition no, for, for good name, etc., and then the knowledge. So you know you, you want to you don't want to share your knowledge to other people. So these are five kinds of the not the, the we say the <coughs> so the. the Machriya, Machriya, no? Machriya. So, remember, no, the, we call Abris or stinginess. <coughs> and then, contrary to Aisa, Machriya is subjective. No? Subjective is, no? it looks at yourself. Aisa and Machriya make one unhappy without any inducement from others. So one shall feel immediately happy if one can drive away, no, drive them away, no, as soon as they arise in your mind. And the same thing with this kukucha, no, remorse. So it, is, it has the characteristic of grieving over the evil that is done and the good thing that has not done. So we say it is you not know, repent, repenting, and remorse. You know, the same thing with the kukutari here. As it is useless to cry over spilt milk, 
No, like the, like the, the English, they have the saying, don't cry over spilled milk. No, don't cry over spilled milk because it is useless. So it is of no use to repent or feel sorry about wrongdoings. So this is uh, Matriya Gokocha. No, they are three companions of no, dosa, anger. If any one of them arises in your mind, you get dosa, mula, cheta arising accompanied by domanasa, painful mental feeling, so you get the pain. So they are, uh, no? So they are right separately because their line of no, reasoning are different. So no, that means when you, you, you are remorseful about not some bad thing you have done or the good thing you have not done, then only then, only kukucha, no? They arise along with dosa. So when you have jealousy, only Isa will arise with, uh, with, uh, with the mind. So but when one of them arises, it's always accompanied by dosa. So it is wise. No? As soon as you know that they are arising in your mind, just get them away. Then you can live very happily. Tina is lot. So you say it is a, the stinging state of the mind. Not the shrinking state of the mind, like a cock's feather before fire. So when you put a cock's feather near fire, it stings. No? So the same thing. It makes the mind inactive, actually, you know, this tina. It makes consciousness inactive. When one is idle due to lack of you know, effort, one is under the influence of tina, and it is the sickness of consciousness, you know, it's called. And major topper is the morbid or inactive state of mental factors. So when one feels in, no, inactive or inert, you don't want to do anything. So then no, one is being influenced by this major. It is the sickness of mental factors and it makes one lazy and sleepy. So both Tina and major are opposed to with the other effort. So when your effort is weak, then they will, no, they will arise in the mind. So if your effort is strong, they will not arise in the mind. No? So where there are Tina and Meda, there is no Vidya. No? So they always arise together, Tina, Tina, no? Slot and Topa, in the mind. And the last one is Vijikecha, Septa Gauda. So you have already knew it, seen it before. So it is, it is an acceptable doubt about the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha, and the training about things no, in past lives and future lives. So not the, so the, 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 not the training mean, not the, we, we have that training of morality, the training of concentration, the training of of the wisdom, so they have doubt about that because they don't understand. And they also no, have the, the doubt about past lives and about future lives. And also on the law of karma and the law of dependent origination. And fin finally, no, they, you have doubt about the four noble truths. No, the four noble truths are, no, the, we call the highest, no, the universal truth. So if you understand no, the, the four noble truths in every way, especially by meditation, you become enlightened as noble person. So these are you not know, the 14 in moral mental factors. So the Buddha, he knew that they are the causes of all suffering, all evil actions in the world. And then they will send you to the woeful state. You know? So if you don't know them, so you know, they pretend to be your, your good companion. <laughs> so they give you the illusion to enjoy sense pleasure as much as possible. So if you are enjoying you know, the essential pleasure, you are you know, in, in that, you, know, you, are, you are enjoying you know, with them actually. So we have beautiful mental factors. You know, they can oppose this in the, the, the immoral mental factors. And we have 25 of them, no, 25 of them. So they are also greater in number, and also they are stronger 
then the you know, this the environmental factors. So if you can develop them, then you, know, you can suppress these environmental factors not to arise. So we you know, we say we divide it into four groups. The first group we go is sobana sadharana. Remember, sobana is beautiful. No, sadharana means associate with. They associate with all beautiful consciousnesses. No, this 19. No, they associate no, with con beautiful consciousness collectively, all 19 of them. So, no, these are uh, the, the 19 of them here. Yeah. No, we give you. So with the, there are four groups. No? So we divide them the, the beautiful mental factors, 25 of them. So first group is this, no, the Sobana Sadarana 19. And then the second group is Virati. Virati means abstinence. No? Abstinence means abstaining from immoral actions, immoral speeches, and immoral livelihood. Appa manya means illimitable or boundless state, we call them. And panyendriya is wisdom or knowledge, no? wisdom or knowledge. So we begin with this 19, no? 19, the sobana, so they are beautiful, no? they are beautiful essential mental factors. Sobana, Sarana, Tirasika. So, among these uh, the 19, Sadda is the leader. Not like as Moha is the leader in moral mental factors, Sadda is also the leader. So it is faith and confidence in the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Not having faith. And then Sti is mindfulness or attentiveness. He re is moral shame. No, the opposite of that, the, the ahirika, moral shamelessness. So here we have moral shame. Uttapa is moral dread. Also the opposite of anuttapa, no, the moral, the fearlessness. And then alopa is non-attachment, greedlessness and generosity. So the opposite of lopa, greed. Ah, dosa is also the opposite of no, do, dosa. So it is hatelessness, angerlessness, goodwill, tolerance, and loving kindness. So you know, these, these the mental factors are very beautiful. And uh, including this one, Tatra Majat Tata. Uh, tatra Majat Tata. So we call it equanimity or mental balance. So these seven, uh, no, the eight of them. Or seven. These seven are uh, no, described singly, and singly they can oppose no, their their opponents. No, they can oppose, and then they uh, no, these uh, uh, we call the qualities of an, up, an upright, upright person. No, if you have this quality, then you can become an upright person. And the remaining, no, so all from the nineteen, if you. No, subtract these seven, you, you get 12 left, and they are described as six pairs. No, six pairs. So the first pair is kaya pasati, chaita pasati. So pasati means tranquility or peacefulness. No, tranquility or peacefulness of mental factors. And kaya here means no, the, 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 the group of mental factors. It does not mean the body the, 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 here. No? And chitta pasati is tranquility of consciousness. Kaya lahuta, agility or lightness of mental factors. And chitta lahuta is agility or lightness of consciousness. And kaya mududa, mududa is elasticity of mental factors. And chitta mududa is elasticity of consciousness. Kaya kamanyata, no? kamanyata, adaptability of mental factors. And chitta kamanyata is adaptability of consciousness. Kaya pagunyata, proficiency of mental factors. And chitta pagunyata means proficiency of consciousness. Kayu jugata, uprightness of mental factors. And chitta jugata is uprightness of consciousness. So we begin with the sadha, faith, and confidence. 
So the Buddha said this is a very, very important quality, this sadha. No? So <coughs> what is sadha? It is well established confidence or faith in the three jewels. So now we call the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha as three jewels because they are the most precious jewels actually. And when a Buddhist takes refuge in three four jewels, now his faith should be accompanied with understanding and with knowledge no, about the attributes of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. A Buddhist faith is not in conflict with the spirit of inquiry. Any doubt about dubious things is, no, is allowed, is allowed. So, no, like the, in the monotheism, no, the, the, the <coughs> those, no, the, religion, they, have, no, they believe in Almighty God. They say no, that we cannot know Almighty God. We cannot see them. We cannot know Him. But not in Buddhism, it's quite, diff uh, quite different. No? So, you can, no, you can examine, you can investigate as far as you like. They really exist. No? They really exist. No? So, and then Sadda is compared to the unique emerald of universal monarch. Now this emerald of uni universal monarch, when it is placed in warm dirty water, it causes all the dirt to subside and all the heat to escape. Thus, no, it turns warm dirty water to cool purified water. water. So in the same way, when Sadha associates with the consciousness, no, all defilements, such as Lopa, Dosa, Moha, and the, the, no, the five hindrances, we say, they, they, they are driven away, no, they disappear, with the result that the mind becomes no, cool and clear. So remember, when Sadha arises, no, all those 19 beautiful, no, the beautiful mental factor arise together. So they are very powerful, 19 of them. So at, at, usually our mind is occupied by these immoral mental factors. No, especially we call the five hindrances. What are the five hindrances? So the first three is again Lopa, Dosa, Moha. No, lopa, we, we say sand desire. There. No, so, trying to designing for many sense objects. And then, dosa is, we say, biabada. No, biabada is evil. So, evil. And then, no, the, the lopa, dosa, moha, moha is ignorant. No, ignor and then, the, the, we have no, the restlessness and the kukucha. No, the, Kukucha is remorse, restlessness and remorse. And then also we have what? Vichikicha, no, the subject of Tao. So, okay, we, we just go, go there. So now, no, it first it is compared with the unique emerald. Now it is compared with the hand, which can grab jewels. If one is lucky enough, to be on a mountain full of jewels. Actually, one is more fortunate to be in contact with the Buddha's teaching and then to be on a mountain full of jewels because one with sadha no, can acquire a lot of merit which is more precious than jewels. As a man without hands cannot grab jewels, so a man without sadha cannot acquire good merit. So if we are on a mountain, no, where there are oh many many jewels on there, <laughs> no, like the, the rubies, pearls, etc. Then no, you see you you will say, oh you are no you are very, very lucky. But we say if you don't have the hand, you cannot pick up no, these jewels. But even if you can pick them up and carry as much as you can to, you know, to your house, you will become very rich. 
and you will become very rich. And if you don't you know, understand the teaching of the Buddha, you will try to use this, you know, this well for sensual pleasure. So you think you are lucky you not know, to get this well. And when you enjoy you know, a lot of sensual pleasure, you are accumulating in, you know, in moral karma and you will have to suffer in the Hupo state for millions of years. You know? So now, you know, we come in contact with the teachings of the Buddha. No, we say, so now, now if you have sadha, no faith and belief, confidence in the no, in the teachings of the Buddha, then you will no, you will study very very no, be respectfully, no, and then no, you can you acquire you acquire no, great merit, and we say sadha is the leader no, among this the the moral mental factors the nineteen of them. So, no, if, if it least uh, it has faith, no, so it wants to, no, to pay homage to the Buddha, then all the 19 men of factors, no, they follow, no, they support, no, they support them, so you, no, you, you can pay ho uh, homage to the Buddha, etc. <coughs> and then if you have sadha, no, you, will, you will perform meritorious deeds no, as much as possible. So no, you can get great, very great merit actually. And then the you no, know, the, the <coughs> one person asked the Buddha, "No, what is our most precious possession?" No, the 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 the, the, the question. What is our most no the precious possession? What is your answer? Is that your well, <laughs> your, 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 your most precious possession? So the Buddha said, no, Sadha is your, your most precious possession. No? So if your Sadha is very, very strong, so again Sadha can be developed in three stages. No? So we say the first stage is a Pasada Sadha, they say. Very weak, no? very weak confidence and faith in the Buddha. Also, no, many, many persons, no, though they, they are born as Buddhists, they don't know Buddhism any, anything. So no, they are, they are respect, no, they are reverence, respect. No, to the Buddha, the mother Sangha is very little, very little. So they, they, they have very little, no, very little, the benefit, the no, merit for that. Now, if you study a Buddha and you come to, un to understand Vidama very well, then you won't have any doubt about the Buddha. No? We say the Buddha possessed no, the omniscient wisdom. No? That is, he can know everything that should be known. No? So when you no, study about the Abhidhamma, so Abhidhamma describes no, all about, the, about our existence which is not known by any other no, intellectual person. No person knows. No, so, how were you born? Why are you alive? No, so, and what is, the, uh, what is the most important thing to do in life? And then do we have past existence, future existence? No, so, how to do, 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 uh, do live so that you will never be born in the woeful state? So, these are very important things. No? So, these are no, understood by the Buddha, everything, no, like all these no, the, the ultimate realities. Nobody knows. No, and that the Buddha the, the teaches, nobody knows actually. So, no, they are the realities, these are the, 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 no, the, the ultimate realities. And then we have no, the, so here, here, here we get uh, that statement. As Moha is the leader of immoral Chira Sika, so Sadda is the leader of Sobhana Jira Seekers. It is the most precious treasure and also one of the five spiritual faculties, Indriya, as well as one of the five spiritual powers, Bala. So, not in the, in the real practice, not to, to fight the five hindrances not that always occupy our, not our mind. The Buddha describes not five powers, not here, five faculties, five spiritual faculties, and then five spiritual powers. 
So among these, no, among these five, Sadda, Sadda is the leader actually. And then Siti, no, mindfulness or attentiveness. So it is also very, very essential and very precious no, quality that we possess, this mindfulness. Sati is mindfulness of things that are taking place around you. Its chief characteristic is not floating away. That is not to let things go unnoticed. When one is not mindful enough, one does not remember what one sees or hears. It is like empty pots and pumpkins floating away on the water current. No, so mindfulness. No, mindfulness. So actually it is no mindfulness of the meritorious, no, the, uh, the, the meritorious things that we call mindfulness. No, some good other, no? <coughs> and then, okay, we go on. One can recall past events no, with sati, with no, the, this mindfulness, and sati can be developed. No, just let me see no, the, the, the mindfulness of no, the former existences. So no, the, the, it is mindfulness, this one. And then it is mindfulness also, no, the, if you have mindfulness, then no, you will know everything. No, for example, the part I am teaching you now, no, you, you, can, you, no, you can understand all, the, all my teaching. Now one can recall past events with sati and sati can be developed. What is highly developed? Now when sati it is highly developed, one acquires the power of remembering no, the past, no, the existences. Sati is most beneficial and most essential. If we are mindful of meritorious deeds, we get billions of you know, the commas every second. So the easiest one is, you no. Know, so mindfulness of the you no know, mindfulness of the Buddha's attribute. So we can choose you no know, any one attribute of the Buddha. The most popular one is Araham. What is Araham? So you no, know, if you don't know any attribute of the Buddha. <laughs> No. So actually, no, you, you lost. No, you lost great chance to, to, to get great merit. No, no. So the Araham means the Buddha. No, the Buddha is the purest because his mind is totally pure from the from the defilement. No. So remember, no, the among the fourteen men on the mental factors. Oh, can, can you show the, the chart number two again? No, I forgot to tell you. No? So among the 14 environmental factors, no? so we have, we see, no? the, the group of four with Moha, the leader, we call Moha Chetuka, all of these uh, we call no? the defilements. And all these three, no? Loba group is defilement. So you get seven defilements now. And then you take the leader here, Dosa, Tina, and Vijikecha. No, if you add three, you get ten defilement. No, so among the fourteen, so these ten defilements, no, they defy the mind, debase the mind. It makes the mind no, the dirty and wicked. No, and then it burns the mind. It, but they burn the mind. No, because of them, no, you the people are not happy. And then some people even commit suicide. And also they are, no, they, they are dr always driving you to perform evil action. And they are no, the causes for the people who, who were born in the woeful state. No, so the most important in, in life is no, to, 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 to destroy them, no, to destroy them completely. So now when the Buddha, he, he he knew all these no, ultimate realities. He came to know that, oh, no, the only re no, the evil forces in the world are only these 14 environmental factors. And among them, these 10 are called defilement, as they defy and debase and burn the mind. So to eliminate them is most important. 
So finally, he discovered the Noble Eightfold Path, no? which, which consists of three full training of morality, concentration, and, and the wisdom. So no? actually, by, the, by that three full training, we can develop our wisdom to the highest stage. We call the path wisdom. So when you attain the full path wisdom, you can eliminate them totally. And later you, you know, okay, we just go ahead. No, okay, to, to the, so sati is very, very important. No, so we, we also see here, no, so sati is most beneficial and most essential. If we are mindful of meritorious deed, we get billions of gamma every second. So if you are mindful of that only Araham, so now why you are walking Araham, Araham, if you just can take note that you get every step, you get one billion no, good karma. Another one million good karma. <laughs> so no, every step you become a billionaire. <laughs> no, you are richer than the, the American billionaires actually. No, we can get the, 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 the merit very easily, actually, when we know it. No, we don't need to spend any money. And we say time is very precious, no, very precious. No, so every second you can get many billions of good karma. No, so you waste them <laughs> when you're chatting with each other. <laughs> so no, the, the talking, talking, so no, you're wasting your time by doing that. And then we, we go on. The Buddha reminded his disciples every day not to forget no, meritorious deeds and to be always mindful to fulfill one's pledge to strike for the liberation from all, the, no, all miseries. So no, to, to liberate yourself from all suffering is not to also it means to liberate yourself from all these, no, these and defilements. If one is mindful at the sixth sense door, to note what no, one observes, just as seeing and seeing, or hearing or hearing, etc., one can stop defilements from entering the mind. In this sense, uh, sati, no, mindfulness is compared to a gatekeeper no, who stops thieves and robbers from entering the city. So we also have no, the, the, the morality, we go Indriya Samra Sila. So no, that means guarding your sixth sense door. The sixth sense doors are the eye, the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body. These are the five sense door, And then also the mind door, no, the mind door. So you have to be, no, the, the, Mindful all the time that those, you know, the, we say that the defilement, you know, do, not, you know, do not enter your mind through this door. You know, they enter your mind through this door. You know. So you, know, you have to be careful. So also, you know, sense objects, six sense objects always come in contact with this six sense door. So you know, when you see something, you say, you know, so if you, when you are mindful, no, you just no, no, you note it is seeing, seeing. Oh, just no, this is a person. That's all. Just stop it. So don't, don't look it. Who is that person? How is he? How, uh, no, or how is he like? Or is he beautiful? <laughs> no, something like that. So if you look in detail, if it's in the, no, if it's the opposite sex, then you develop low power dose. <laughs> no? So. Just try to just if you hear something, just say hearing, hearing, stop it. So don't inquire what what is that sound? <laughs> so no, what what is that about? So if you do that, no, so you are wasting your time again, so we say. And that would be a very good way. Sati is also a member of the five spiritual fikaudi. We say the sati. No, they are among the five spiritual fikaudi. And then, okay, we go to the, no, the number three. Hiri, moral shame. No, it makes a man recoil from, no, the moral, uh, with moral shame, from committing immoral deeds. 
A person who has theory recoils from evil just as a cock's feather shrinks in front of fire. So, no, the, the, if we know, no, it is moral shame because no, he knows the, no, the, the good and evil, noble and not noble, and then all the, 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 the law of karma. So, he, no, he, he, he has moral shame to, 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 to commit evil actions. And Uttapa also moral dread. So, no, you, as you, again, you know the karma and result, then no, you, you, you have moral dread to perform evil actions. And then the Uttapa opposes an Uttapa and can drive away the latter. He the arises with respect to oneself, whereas Uttapa arises with respect to others. So if he and Uttapa no, they are strong. They can oppose the, no, the ahirika, anuttapa, moral shamelessness, moral dreadlessness, no, very easily. And you can keep your morality only you have this hiri uttapa. No, so if you, you, no, you have them, you can... And then we say hiri uttapa differentiates men from beasts not to indulge in, in moral acts, such as sexual relation between mother and son, or between father and daughter, even at the time of very low civilization. So Hiri and Ottaba are known as Loka Pala Dhamma, guardian of the world. Guardian of the world. So even no, when the, the, so, no, the, the teachings of the Buddha will not last forever. No, no, it will not last forever. No, it is very, very, no, very weak already now. Very few people. No, so finally it will disappear. No, because no, many people, no, they are j just, no, they are happy with the sensual pleasure, and no, also happy with the with all all of those sensual things. So no, and <coughs> the Buddha said. We are no, the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the stage of the decreasing uh, the lifespan. So no, the, the, the lifespan of people will be will, uh, decreasing, the Buddha said. So every hundred years, no, 100 years, the lifespan no, is, is reduced by, by one year, they say. <laughs> no? So, no, in that case, no, the very, now you can see, no, very young people, even like about the, the, the girls about 12 years old, they get pregnant, <laughs> no, so, no, very, very soon, no, they, they become very, very, you know, wicked, actually. And now, we go to, no, the Alopa, no, we, you have, we already seen Alopa, no, they are among the, in, the immoral roots. They are the opposite of lopa. So it is greedlessness, not attachment, non-attachment, and generosity. So no, if you know it, it's very, very beautiful quality. Non-attachment to sense objects and greedlessness is the chief characteristic of lo a lopa. As water drops run up a lotus leaf, Without you know, adhering or sticking to the leap, Alopa runs off sensuous objects without you know, adhering or sticking to them. In this sense, Alopa is like an arahat who has no greed. You know, and then you know, he, you know, the arahat, you know, he does not regard anything to belong to him. So when one is not attached to one's possession, one can give away money and things to charity. Here, Alopa manifests itself no, in the form of generosity, we say. So when, you know, you, when you don't have greed, so you are contented with your wealth. No, you are contented with your wealth. So no, the <coughs> you might say, should not, uh, should not we try to get greater wealth? Well, no, that is that is our duty. We have to continue to to walk to get as much well as possible. But you should be contented what you have.
<laughs> so Buddha, Buddha said, contentment is the greatest well. No, that is very correct. No, contentment is the greatest well. So no, those billionaires, though they are very, no, they are, they are very rich, they are still craving for more. <laughs> so they will not be happy. And then if you possess so many, you know, well, so you, you, you know, you have attachment to them and you have to worry about them most of the time. So when you lost them, then you, know, you even committed suicide. <coughs> now another, you know, the, another, another, ah, lopa is opposed to lopa, and it can overcome lopa. It is one of the three moral roots. It is a positive virtue involving active altruism. Great, you know, the greed makes one selfish, whereas non-greed makes, makes us selfless. And greed makes, uh, the, um, make us, you know, the greedless then makes us selfless and also benevolent. And then we practice alms giving, dana to develop our low part. So you know, if you want to, <coughs> to increase your our low part, you know, to, to strengthen it, we, you know, we, <coughs> we should you know, the practice our, our gifts giving alms. So you know, don't be stingy <laughs> to give alms to, to, you know, to charity. So try to donate. So no doubt we, we believe that the more you donate, the more you will get. <laughs> the more you will get. You will not be poor. No, you will not become poor actually. And then we go to the next one, a dosa. A lopa and a dosa is non hatred and tolerance and loving kindness. No, so very beautiful you know, mental factor. So a dosa opposes anger. And it can overcome you know, anger. It is not mere absence of hatred or aversion, but it is a positive virtue. It is the most constructive element, whereas anger is the most destructive element. So that, that's very good. No? The most constructive element. No? The most constructive element. And then we say, no, we, we practice Pancha sila and mitta to develop a dosa. No, pancha sila is five moral precepts. No, abstaining from three evil action, bodily action, and the, the four evil speeches. And actually, we have to abstain from all the ten evil actions that can send us to to hell. No, so and mitta is loving kindness. No, it's uh, it's the, the most beautiful uh, property actually. So you now, if we can practice this, then you now we can we can you now the subdue dosa not to arise in, in, in our mind. Dosa has the characteristic of roughness and cruelty, whereas mildness and forgiveness is the chief characteristic of a dosa. Dosa is like an enemy, whereas a dosa is like an agreeable good friend. A dosa manifests as tolerance, kanti. So, no, the, the tolerance in Bali, we go kanti, is in suppressing, suppressing anger and, you know, the con consequently, as forgiveness, a very noble quality, as the saying goes, forgiveness is divine. No, so forgiveness is the quality of the, no, the God actually. So no, if you can forgive, it is it, it, it is very divine. Ah, dosa is also reflected as goodwill, for its nature of kindness and helpfulness. It is one of the three moral roots. No, very beautiful. No, the quality. So remember, no, we can we can the. the Strengthen this, you know, this quality by you know, observing Panja Sila and then you know, the radiating loving kindness to all living beings. When our dosa turns attention to living beings, wishing them to be well and happy, it is known as Mitta. You know, it is called in Mitta in, in Pali, that is loving kindness. 
one of the most beautiful qualities leading to world peace. Indeed, no, we shall attain lasting world peace if everyone practices tolerance and loving kindness. So no, the, the Indian Prime Minister Nehru, no, he is a very learned man, Nehru, no, actually. So no, he is the, 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 the Prime Minister of India. So you know, he always you know, the reminded the, the world the, the world leaders. So you know, the, the, so don't uh, the, you, you know you we we should you not know, take notice of the the the, the, the peace the peace message of the Buddha, <laughs> the peace message of the Buddha to practice loving kindness. So if we can practice loving kindness, then we shall not cause any harm to any living being. So if nobody cause any harm to other person, so we get you no know, war peace right away actually. And then you know, the, the seven is Tatra Majatata. So equanimity or mental balance. And this is very high quality also. You know, very you know, even you know, the, uh, the it's more noble than the Mitta, this Tatra Majata. So we read about it you know, a little bit. So you read also, <laughs> the chief characteristic of Tatra Majatata is impartial view of all things without attachment and aversion. That is keeping in the middle of all things. It is compared to a charioteer who drives two horses to run at equal pace. It also acts like the chairman of a meeting, giving equal, ch equal chance to all participants to act. It balances consciousness and mental factors to function together at equal pace, preventing any excess, no, excessness and deficiency. And this is its characteristic, actually. No, it balances the consciousness and mental factors to you not know, to walk you not know, to walk together at equal at equal pace to walk harmoniously at equal pace so preventing any excess or deficiency so you know, it is compared to a charioteer who drives two horses you not know, to run at equal pace so when the two horses run at equal pace what should the, the chariot the charioteer do? <laughs> he is driving no, he is driving a hot a horse cut. So now you have to, to make the two horses no, to run at equal pace. So when they are running at equal, at equal pace, he he didn't have he, he did not do anything actually. No. So he can just go go on no, with equanimity we say. No, with equanimity, so no, without any worry, no, so uh, so, and then without any any thing to, you need to do. So and then it also known as upika, no, in the sense of equanimity. Now this tatra majjhata is known as upika also, but this upika, no, is the state of the middle between karuna compassion and mudita sympathetic joy. It is different from hedonic upeka, which is neutral feeling. So now this upeka is neutral feeling, and this upeka is, no, so it means equanimity. So <clears throat> the Buddha, you know, he taught the, the four, the four very noble qualities, the, he called it Brahma, Vihara living like the Brahma. And then they are also called Brahmacharya. No, they are very noble no, qualities. So these four are, no, they are actually the Alopa, and the Adosa, no, Adosa, which we call Mitta. So when we call Mitta, and then Adosa is Mitta, this Tata Machadata is called Upika, and then we have you know, the two, the, the other two is karuna, that is compassion, and uh, the mudita, sympathetic joy. 
So no, he usually described in the order Mitta, Karuna, Mudita, Upika. So actually Upika is the highest. <laughs> Upika is the highest. No? So and uh, when we develop the no, the, the jhana, so on, on the when you <coughs> when you develop the jhana in the bitter no, in bitter meditation, no, by radiating loving kindness no, to to other uh, to other other peace person, you can develop no, the up to the fourth rupa vaja jhana, and if you can also no, radiate the, the compassion to miserable beings, so you can also develop up to the fourth jhana. But no, to go on to the fifth jhana, no, you have to no, the, meditate on the equanimity. Then you can develop the fifth jhana. So it is higher than the, no, the mitta and krutna. It's very, very important also. And OK, then we go no, to the, 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 the twelve. On the the, tw uh, the sixth phase of twelve, not the, the main twelve mental factors. So the first phase we call kaya pasati, jeta pasati. So don't take kaya as body, you take it as group of mental factors. So we say kaya pasati is, no, pasati is tranquility of consciousness. No, kaya pasati is tranquility of mental factors. Chikta Pasati is tranquility of consciousness. So now this tranquility, no, so it makes your, your you very very you know, the peaceful. So uh, only here, no? okay. So here we get no, the Pasati as tranquility, calmness, quietude and serenity. No, these are the quality. When you develop them, you get this, no, this quality. And then lahu, the, the, we just go to the, the next page. Kaya lahuta, chaita lahuta. No, as a, lahuta means lightness or joyancy or agility. Kaya lahuta is lightness of Lightness and agility of mental factors. Chaita lahuta is lightness and agility of consciousness. Suppressing the happiness of mental factors is the chief characteristic of you know, kaya lahuta. And suppressing the happiness of the consciousness is the chief characteristic of chaita lahuta. So it is like laying down a heavy burden. So, no, the, the, <coughs> the meditators and also like the arahats, no, they, no, they, they, they regard that no, to, 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 to support, no, to, 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 to help our body is just like carrying a very, very no, heavy load actually. No, we have to, to get attention no, to, to this body no, in, so in many ways. So when you become our heart, no, so you, you, no, you, you can lay down no, this bar, great burden. So no, no, more, no more weight anymore. And then we say kaya lahuta and chaita lahuta are opposed to slot and topa. Remember? Slot and topa, they make the mind you know, inactive and lazy. And then which cause heaviness and rigidity in the mental factors and consciousness. So when you can develop this kaya lahuta, chaita lahuta, then you can get rid of this heaviness. Kaya mududa, chaita mududa. So no, mududa means elasticity. So it is elasticity of mental factors and elasticity of no, the consciousness. So no, the here they say they remove the stiffness of the mind caused by immoral mental factors such as they take the wrong view and mana the conceit. So no, so when the, these are uh, no, the, the 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 stiffness are removed, then you you can feel very very no the comfortable and pleasant. Mududa is compared to a skin that is pliable because it has been 
well molded by applying oil, so it is not very important. Mududa is opposed to false view and conceit. Okay. And the next way is Kaya Kamanyata and Chaita Kamanyata. So Kamanyata means adaptability. So this is adapt adaptability of mental factors. Chaita Kamanyata is adaptability of consciousness. So, no, so, so they, uh, they means the goodness in carrying out their duty. So you can be adaptable to any new condition, no, whatever condition arises, no, you, can, no, you, can, you, you can perform, no, you can carry out your, your duty no, in, the, in very well, um, very good form. The chief characteristic, characteristic is suppressing no, unserviceableness and unworkableness of consciousness and mental factors. No, so, and then kaya pagunyata, chaita pagunyata. So they refer to proficiency or skillfulness of mental factors and consciousness in doing their work. So their chief characteristic is to suppress the sickness in mental factors and consciousness. So, and then we get you know, the last, the, the last pay. The, the last pay is, we, we, you know, we call them Kayu Jukata, Chaitu Jukata. So it is actually a combination of Kaya and Ujukata. You know, so Ujukata means you know, the uprightness or straightness so the Kayu Jukata is uprightness and straightness in mental factors and Chaitu Jukata is uprightness and the, you know, the straightness in, the, in consciousness. They are opposed to crookedness, deception, you know, craftiness due to illusion or deceit. Maya, Maya is also it's, you know, the, the, the lopa, greed and treachery, sachiya, no, sachiya. So they say, you know, like the, the, the illusion of the, the maya, deceit means you committed you know, some, some mistake and you, you pretend to be innocent. <laughs> so that is called maya. And then sachiya is pretending to possess the quality you don't possess. No, you don't have the jhana, you pretend you, you get a jhana, <laughs> something like that. No? So no, they, they, they oppose like that. So these 19 mental factors no, above, no, they become prominent in people who regularly pr perform no, meritorious deeds, no, like almsgiving, moral, no, the observing moral morality, and then undertaking meditation. Especially in meditation, when you develop the concentration, so they also become, you know, these, these you know, the 19 mental factors, they become stronger and stronger. Then you know, when you get near to the jhana, oh, you feel very light, you know, very comfortable, very peaceful. So you do the, this, these things. Okay, now we have the, the, a little time more. So we just try to do, you know, so the, the next group we call abstain and mental factors. Vidati means abstinence, no, abstinence or avoidance. You know, so there are three mental factors. They actually constitute the training of morality. So they are included in the Noble Eightfold Path as a training of morality. No, that's all. So Samavacha means the right speech. So the right speech is no, abstaining from four no, wrong speeches so Musa Vada is lying, no, false speech. And then Bisuddha Vaja is slandering. So we also call it backbiting, no, trying to, no, to break the friendship of no, two persons. And then Prusa Vaja is harsh speech or abusive language, no, abusing others. And then Sampapalapa is frivolous talk, vain talk or gossiping. <laughs> So remember, no, they are among the four speeches, the four four speeches, no, and then no, they, these are also the, the no, they are included among the ten evil actions that can, can 
No, that can send you to go for boats. No, for go for boats. So when we come face to face with the situation, to commit one of these, you no, know, these four four speeches, and if we can stay from saying it, then at, you know, we acquires the samawacha at that instant of abstinence. And then the, the next one is Samakamanta, the right action. So what is the right action? It is the, you know, it is the avoidance of the, 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 it means bodily action, which is abstinence from three wrong actions. So what are the three wrong actions? Panatipata, killing any living being. Adinadana, stealing others' property. And Kamisumichachara, misuse of the senses, you know, including sexual misconduct, and then taking drinks and the, you know, the, the alcoholic drinks and drugs, you know, intoxicating drinks and drugs are also included here. You know? So we have to abstain from all these three evil bodily actions, we say. You know? So these are three evil, you know, the bubble actions we call. So when we you know the observe pancha sila actually, we have you no know, we have to abstain from these four evil speeches and the three evil you no know, three evil bodily actions, and it is understood that you also abstain from three mental evil actions. So altogether ten evil actions. So what are three mental evil actions? So no we 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 will, we will <laughs> So we will see them in, in, the, in chapter 5. Now the last one. Now the Sama Ajiva is the right livelihood. So again, what is the right livelihood? It means abstaining from a livelihood that brings harm to any living being. Now, such as trading in arms. So if you trade you know, in arms or weapons, so you know, they can kill people with that with those weapons so you no know, you are also you no know, the responsible for that killing if you you sell the arms and also you not know, some people the you no know, they trick in human being you no know, like like you know, the so many 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 myama no they they are so to the the some some you no know, some rich uh, the, uh, the uh, rich person uh, like, like, like in the, even in Indonesia, you know, they, so they, they, you know, they, they make the, this you know, human being, they sell human being you know, to, so, you know, to, to use them in, the, in, the, in their, in their you know, the fishing, fishing boat, you know, they, they use like that. And then you know, they also to, to trade in like, you know, like the animals, if you, you know, the, the sell animals for, for, for for other people to kill them, then you are also responsible for that. And then you know, also you should not only trade in poison, intoxicating drinks and drugs, as well as slaughtering, you know, killing animals, fishing, sodiering, deceit and treachery, soothsaying, trickery, etc. You know, these are, if you can esteem them, we call them the right livelihood. So, you no, know, this is the training of morality. So then we get, you no, know, the, the the next group. The next group is. So, you no, know, we we the, uh, the illimitable mental factors. You no, know, they are called apamanya jirasika. So, karuna is compassion or pity, you no, know, to the miserable living being, and mudita is. Sympathetic joy or appreciative joy, and you feel glad to see others people's you know, the prosperity and success. You know? So it is uh, the, we say here they are, there are you know, four illimitables of boundless states. To mention them in the order they are usually practiced. They are mitta, loving kindness, karuna, compassion. Mudita, you know, this sympathetic joy, and then upika, the equanimity. 
it has been described above that metta is included in the adosa, and upika no, is tatra majatata. So only the remaining two are mentioned here. In practice, no, in practicing any one of the four illimitables, we may concentrate our attention on a single person or on all living beings in the world. So no, they are called illimitables or boundless state. Now in practicing loving kindness, no, we, we should reflect, may all living beings be happy and well. May all living beings be happy and well. So just you know, by radiating loving kindness, you know, so do all living beings. So you are getting you know, the billions of good karma for every, <laughs> for every saying that. You know, may all living beings be happy and well. So try to you know, practice this. And in cultivating, cultivating the compassion, you know, we meditate. May all miserable beings be free from miseries. No, may all no, the miserable beings be free from all suffering. No, so you can say that. And for exercising, exercising Buddha, so we rejoice on the prosperity of other beings and meditate. May their gain be with them for a long time. No, so, and in practicing Upika, no, we meditate, no, the, we maintain a balanced mind and meditate. No, all beings are as they are conditioned by their karmas. <laughs> so no, when you do the, the equanimity, no, the, 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 the equanimity, so no, this, this means all beings are no? <coughs> as they are conditioned by their karma. And this is actually the, the words of the Buddha. No? The Buddha said, Sabbe Sata Kamasaka. All living beings no? No? have only their karma as their possession. All living beings, no? you have only no, your karmas as your real possession that will follow you life from life. No, they will follow you. No, these are the, uh, the karma that you do, no, the good and the bad karma. And then, no, this karma will condition you no, as they should. <laughs> so we say, no, all living beings no, are as they are conditioned by their karmas. So, now when we, we see no, the miserable being, so we, if you develop no, the, the, the compassion, compassion, so you relate that may, may they be relieved from this suffering. No, you, you, you meditate like that. Now when you, you want to meditate equanimity, no, when you see the miserable being, oh, they are as conditioned by their karmas. No, so so when the good karma have the chance to, pay, the, to bear it up, so they will, free, they will be free from this, no, the, from this the, the, the miserable state. So no, nobody, nobody no, uh, does them to, to, to be miserable. No, only their bad karma, no, because of their bad karma, they, are, they, they have to suffer now, no, at present. So you just remain your, your, your mind. No? So as, as they, they should, so everything uh, as they are con no, conditioned by the karma. We cannot change it. We cannot change it. So now we just, oh, when they, their good karma comes, they, they will become better. But now, no, they have to be, as they, be, they are conditioned by their karma. So again, when, <coughs> no, when you, when you no, encounter the, 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 no, the successful people, very rich people, and your friends very rich, so no, if you 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 have appreciative joy, no, you have appreciative joy, then your mind is no elated somewhat. So when you see no, the miserable people and you you feel compassion, so your mind is no, a little drop like that. So when the, you radiate, oh, all living beings are as they, they are conditioned by their karma. 
then you, your mind is at, at equanimity. No, at equanimity. So th that's why, you know, th this is a very, very, you know, very high state. And so in meditation, you know, when we, we, we come to, you know, to, to see that, you know, the, this mental, mentality, mentality arising, perishing, you know, as they should, so we cannot change them. No, so, no, we, uh, <coughs> well, we, we have you know, one day to, to talk about Bidama, only then, or about meditation, so only then no, I will have the, the chance to, to, to take to use a little more. So, just two, two more minutes and we have the last one. <laughs> the last one. Okay. The last mental factor. No, we call it wisdom or knowledge. No, wisdom or knowledge. So in <coughs> in Bali we call panyendriya. No, panyendriya. So so panya means wisdom or insight or knowledge, and indriya means controlling faculty. So panyendriya has to control over the understanding of things as they really are. No? So to know things as they really are, you have to know no, the, the nature of the, the ultimate realities. So we say in the light of a nature, impermanence, dukkha, suffering, anatta, not so. Because it overcomes ignorance, no? this the wisdom. No, will overcome ignorance, so it is also called amoha, non-delusion, no, non-delusion or wisdom. And because of because it can remove the way of moha from clouding men's mental eyes, and throws away the darkness cast by the moha avijja. So no avijja cast no darkness no to, to the so that we cannot see no truly. It is called Vijja also, that is, that means higher knowledge. So, no, it is the opposite of Moha, which is also called Vijja. So, because of that wisdom is called Vijja or Amoha, no, the, the opposite of this. And Panyendriya is normally called Panya Chirisika, so usually we call it as Panya, no, the Chirisika, wisdom, mental factor. In Abhidhamma, Panya, jnana, amoha are synonymous. No synonyms. They, they mean the same thing. Amoha is one of three moral roots, and as one of the four, no, the four means of accomplishing one's ends. Adipada. Panya takes the name vimamsa, analytical wisdom. So this vimamsa means analytical wisdom. Panya understands the ultimate realities, past existences, and future existences, and karma and its effect, the law of dependent origination, and the full noble truth. And remember, moha blinds us not to know no, ultimate realities, not to know past existence and future existences, and then not to know the karma in this effect, and also not to know the law of dependent origination and also the full noble truth. So you can see if you can you know, all enlighten yourself to know all these things, you develop the, the wisdom, then you can eliminate the, the moha, no moha. When purified and cultivated by concentration, samadhi, panya assumes the powerful role of abhinyana. Abhinya, supernormal knowledge. And when highly developed, Panya becomes a factor of enlightenment, Bhutchinga. And then under the name of the Dhamma Vijaya, investigation of the truth. And also it is a component of the, eight foot, the Noble Eightfold Path under the name of Samadhi, the right view. The culmination, no, the highest stage of Wisdom is omniscient wisdom of the Buddha. That's the highest wisdom no, in the world. So, okay, no, we say we say prayers.
Can you help it now? Okay, please. Always, 